Yo, what up, Reasoners? Uh, my name is D Rock, and today we're gonna do a. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what to call it. It's like a, like a more organic sounding pluck, or adding a more organic sound to your to to your plucks. Uh, it's really freaking simple, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you uh, the actual uh, the the actual sound right off the bat. But uh, yeah, let's make this quick, down and dirty, and do it. So the main thing for this is going to be uh, an FM pair oscillator. The carrier at two, mod at four, and that's the sound we are looking for. So let's uh, let's kind of create more of a plucky sound. Uh, we're gonna do a lot with the filter. Something like that. Uh, okay, so now, let, let's, okay, so let's say that we're doing more of like a, I guess like more of like an EDM super saw type of pluck thing, you know, that's like filtered out. So now, having this in here is gonna help you, is is gonna have it be a bit more uh, organic sounding. It's gonna fill out some of the, some of the, like the extreme top end of the sound. So let's uh, create a couple multi oscillators. Uh, let's separate this stuff out by a couple octaves. You know, you know that you know you know that sound. You've you you've you've heard it a million times before in every other song. So that's with that. Without it, it gets a lot more dead. Yeah. So so like so like just this alone is, that, is really going to help fill out a lot of that spacious area. Uh, and one thing I would recommend doing is tossing an LFO on the um, FM amount knob. Uh, that way, it's just moving slightly. I like tempo syncing it just so that it doesn't go crazy, crazy weird at times, which I've I've kind of had before. I, I almost always I almost always sync any sort of um, LFO that I have. That way, you know, when I'm when I'm when I'm really really right writing the song, uh, I know that I know that it's gonna be at this amount at this time in the song, rather than you know if it's at like like some weird hertz that's doing some polyrhythmic shablaba then you get some weird stuff. So yeah. Just so it's changing just like, just slightly, just so it adds a tiny bit of variation. But yeah, adding this does a lot to your sound, I think. I'd recommend doing it. You can also use it as like a, as kind of a, uh, like more of like an arpy sound. Just to, you know, Add, add some more stuff. I think the first time I ever I ever used that, I used it like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think this was the song that I first used it in. Yeah. Let's meet some stuff. Uh, where is it? It's up here somewhere. Where are you? That's piano. Yeah. This kind of the. Kind of this, kind of the same thing. Yeah, just and it actually makes a really nice little, um, little like uh, uh, what's the what's the word? It's almost like a, a little strum, but it's really really small. Check it out. Yeah, and then I've used this in one other way. Um, right here to just to like really just fill out top end this one I think I maybe did on a little bit differently yeah so this one's a little different but kind of the same kind of that same idea where it's just really filling out a lot of that that extreme top end so uh, yeah uh, if you have any questions about about this sort of stuff drop a comment shoot me a message uh, otherwise, I will catch you next time.